This video is about 3-9, which is a problem-solving lesson, draw a picture, and write an equation. So when we're doing pictures and writing equations in this topic, it will be for multiplication word problems. We drew similar pictures and wrote equations in past lessons, but for addition and subtraction. So when we're talking about multiplication pictures, there's actually two types of pictures that you might draw to fit your word problem. The first one is drawing um, a picture that relates to a normal multiplication problem that we would usually see with having multiple groups of something. And the second problem is when we're comparing two things. So when we have something like um, times as many or times as old as, like in this second problem here. So let's look at the first one first. Luke drinks two sodas every day for five days. How many sodas does Luke drink? So my bar picture, we're looking for that total amount of sodas. So that will go up top, and I'm going to split this into five parts because there's five days. And each of those days he drinks two sodas. So my picture would look like this. The second type of picture is when we're comparing two things. In the second problem, it says that Murphy is two years old. Fluffy is four times as old as Murphy. How old is Fluffy? So when you're comparing two different things, or pets in this case, we'll have kind of two parts to our picture. So up top I'll draw out Murphy's little bar, and he's two years old, so I'll put a two in there. Now Fluffy's going to go down below, and she's four times as old. One, two, three. So I'm splitting her box, or her bar picture, into four parts, and she's four times as old. And in each of these little squares, we'll go to Murphy's age because she has four times as much as this number here, two. So in each of the boxes goes the two. And then up top we can put our variable because that's what we're finding is Fluffy's total age, which when we count that up would be eight. Let's look at this example and see which type of picture this is. Is it a groups picture or a comparison picture? It says Jenny lives 30 miles from Kansas City. Brad lives four times as far away as Jenny. How far from KC does Brad live? Since I see times as far four times, I know it's a comparison picture. So I'm going to draw the picture first, and then we'll talk about writing the equation and solving. Jenny is 30 miles away. So I'm going to draw a box with 30 in it for Jenny. Notice how I label it with a J. Since we're having two parts to this picture, they need to be labeled. Brad lives four times as far away. So he, his bar picture will have four um, spots to it and each one will go 30 because we're comparing it to Jenny's 30 up there. And we're trying to find his total distance so that is x. I could have used a different variable um, as well like d or something like that. So now we have our picture done. We can now solve and write our equation. So to figure out how far away Brad lives, I would do 30 times 4 equals x. And I know that x equals 120. So in today's lesson, you'll need a picture, an equation, and you'll need to solve your equation. Here's one more example. The school library has three bookcases, each with 125 books on it. How many books does the school library have in all? So for our picture, this is not comparing anything. We're just talking about um, just this library and these bookcases. So my picture will just be split into three parts to show the three different bookcases. And each bookcase has 125 books, so I'll add that to my picture. I'm trying to find out the number of B books that the school has in all. So there is my picture. Now I'll write my equation. To solve for b, it will equal 125 times 3, since there's three groups of 125 on those three different bookcases. Now I can stack this and solve. 5 times 3 is 15. Six, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And 3 times 1 is 3. So b equals 375. So there's 375 books in all. I want you to go ahead and try this problem on your own. Four pots of flowers each have 18 flowers inside. 
How many flowers are there in all? Please write an equation, draw a picture, and solve this problem. Look back at the previous slides if you need some help. Good luck!